they will open the safe as some people refuse they say it will never happen but yourself you deciding to open it but here it is what god has spoken to you be wise enough in opening of your servers in your dear ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of violino tv i hope you well from whatever you watch in this channel i'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow if you wish to support us just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like you know one of the elections that have had so many controversies so many prophecies so many hacking claims is the 2022 general election in this channel we've gone through what pastor Ezekiel said we went through what pastor t said and we've gone through what other prophets have said regarding the election so there is another prophet from Nigeria who shared his prophecy. The first prophecy he shared was in April. And that prophecy, he talked about why he believed that from the vision he saw, servers of Kenya will be opened. Glory to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, there is a message I'm going to share with you today. It's about the, the servers in Kenya. Hallelujah. The opening of servers. I believe I already prophesied this one. I, I saw it uh, four months ago. Now, in another video, he has echoed his words, his prophecy of, the, of April. He echoed his prophecy and said that there will be confusion. Yes. There will be misunderstanding. Yes. But at the end of the day, the servers will be audited. But this time round, he went further to throw caution on the leading parties, talking about Kenya Kwanza and Azimio, saying that there will be confusion the moment the server is opened. The, the servers will be opened. The, at the end of these things, the servers in Kenya will be opened. Yes. So even though there will be some, some, some resistance, but at the end, the servers will be opened because I saw it already in the spirit in the spiritual realm i saw uh, the servers opened in kenya and i already prophesied this um four months ago and that this opening of the servers in kenya it may it may uh, cause again some confusion to the kenyans when they will open the servers the time will they will open the servers what will come up it will create confusion again in kenya this, so these it required more wisdom. I know you may say you really you it has to be open. You know you, it has to be open. Yes, but the opening of savers in Kenya will bring the tension. It will bring trouble in the country again. Hallelujah! Because there's something I'm, I may not speak it now because if I speak now, I believe also it will be again another problem to the Kenyans. Yeah, because the, the savers there is a result which is there behind. Uh, these savers, which um, I'm trying to preserve my tongue again, because the Lord did not allow me to speak this openly right now. Hallelujah. So this result, uh, it, it may bring confusion in the country. There were some of the things some people saying it wasn't this way. This, it was made. Hallelujah. So the confusion started when other people were saying this was made. This was made. It wasn't this way. This was made. Hallelujah. So they made it. This they made it themselves. So the confusion started from there. So they did not. They did not ask. So according to the prophet and his vision, the prophet says that the contents of the server he saw will be what the two factions will differ on. So he talked about seeing a very big room with very many desks, with very many people. And then soon after these people opened the server and there was some little auditing, tension and confusion arose. Being confusion in the country. There were some of the things some people saying it wasn't this way. This it was made. Hallelujah. So the confusion started 
when other people were saying this was made this was made it wasn't this way this was made hallelujah so they made it this they made it themselves so the confusion started from there so they did not they did not accept what what they saw so it was a, a creating a very serious confusion in the country and they started small and it began to rise so i believe god is with you i believe god loves you so much beloved my brothers and sisters hallelujah in kenya the disturbing prophecy according to him one would agree with that prophecy because just take a look at this from a layman's or from an unprophetic perspective from an unprophetic perspective if you for instance open that server and then as a meal one what do you think will happen there just try to imagine what do you think will happen you open the server as a meal one or you open that server you realize that this server was manipulating certain forms that is if you submitted a form a it would generate a corresponding form A that has been manipulated and send it to the IABC server for final result tabulation. What do you think will happen? Yeah, so we are still supporting in the prayers. We do pray for you always. We do pray for Africa. We do pray for uh, all other countries in Africa all the time. Every day we are crying, pleading God's mercy for our continent. Because end of the day, if Kenya is okay, we can travel to Kenya, we can enjoy the land of Kenya because it's our home. It is Africa. We are all in our home. So if this country, Zimbabwe is okay, if Congo is okay, if this country, we can travel, and if Nigeria is okay, we can travel everywhere peacefully and enjoy ourselves because this is our, our home, Africa. So we have to pray policy for our country, for unity, for love, hallelujah. So it's very important. Hallelujah. So... Uh, uh, we are going to continue praying, supporting, we are going to continue uh, praying for you, beloved Kenyans, and uh, all other brothers and sisters in Kenya, hallelujah, and then we're also praying for the president of Kenya, uh, William Ruto, God may give him more wisdom, and then the opposition party also, God may give them more, more wisdom. The prophet has assured us in that other segment of that video that peace will be paramount, despite the fact that results will not conform to what certain other people thought. Just take, for example, this server is allowed, just like the prophet is saying, and then serious doubts start to emerge and that maybe it was tampered with. Because there's, there's also probability of it being tampered with. Despite the fact that uh, the servers always generate a snapshot, you know, there's always a snapshot. But just take a look at this. If, for instance, Smartmatic decided to tamper with the server and uh, change the process flows, you know, you can change the process process flows. I'm just trying to imagine if, for instance, the server was opened and then the, the, the procedures which were, have been designed at the back end are manipulated. Because if initially the procedure was generating a manipulated document, and now it is not generating a manipulated document. I mean, all these things, how are they going to help? I still think, despite the fact that I support the server audit, and I know there is very little thing that can be done to change the facts there, but what if the process, what if the procedures, the stored procedures, yeah, what uh, the I, uh, ICT people, the time that ICT people are aware of, the stored procedures, all the functions, what if they are changed, those procedures? If those procedures are changed, it will not be easy to know the, the previous procedure. I mean, I don't know, but I think that will be the case. So the prophet has told us exactly what Azimio has been saying, that servers must be opened and will be opened. So, ladies and gentlemen, just go below the comment section there and uh, tell us what you think about that uh, video from that prophet. Do you think the prophet is telling the truth? Just go below the comment section there and tell us what to think about that. To those people who have not subscribed to this channel, I'd like to kindly encourage you to go below the comment section, 
take one second and please just hit the subscribe button and you'll be subscribing to our channel don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to share our videos to those people who have supported this channel i want to tell you here that i'm forever grateful for your support because without you this channel could not have been where it is right now so until you catch up again please stay safe and stay blessed